Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this video, I'll show you how to display the posts from a specific label in your Blogger website. So here we can see this is our Blogger website and right now we can see that all the posts are displayed over here. And if you go to the posts, here we can see that we have different labels for different posts. But here in our homepage, we have all the posts displayed. Now in this video, I'll show you how to display the posts of a specific label over here in the homepage. So let's get started. All right, the first thing we will do is uh, we'll just see where we want to display the posts. So let's right click over here and let's click on inspect. And here we can see this is how the website is structured. And uh, let's see where we want to display the posts. So here we can see we have the header and after the header we can display the posts with the specific label. So let's search for the end of the header tag. So let's go back to our dashboard and uh, here let's go to theme. And uh, I'm using this theme called Contempolite. So let's click on this arrow and let's click on edit HTML. And here I'll just search for the end of the header tag. So I'll just press command F. Or if you're using Windows you can just press control F. And let's search for less than forward slash header. And here we can see this is where the header ends. So here let's add an element and let's see whether it is being displayed. So I'll just type testing and uh, let's click on save. And now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And uh, we have testing displayed over here. Now we know that it is in the correct place. So let's go ahead and start displaying the posts. Before that, I'll just add some basic styling over here. So let's go back. And I'll just change this into a division. And let's give it a class of label posts container. And let's add a style tag over here. And uh, I'll just add some basic CSS over here. And uh, here I'll just type dot label posts container. And uh, let's set the background color to white. And let's add a padding. And uh, let's set it to 24 pixels and uh, let's set the font size to 18 pixels and let's set the color of the text to black and here I'll just type testing and uh, we have a typo over here I'll just type label L-A-B-A-L and uh, let's click on save now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page now we can see we have the correct styling let's also add some margin Now these are just basic styles, we're not focusing on design in this video. So let's refresh and uh, this is how it looks right now. Right now let's display the list of all the posts with the specific label. So for that let's go back to our theme code. Here we need to create a script tag and we will use blogger json feed api for getting the data. Let me just show you how it looks. So I'll just open this website in a new tab. And here if you just type forward slash feeds, forward slash posts, forward slash default, question mark alt equals JSON. And now if I press enter, here we can see we have all this data displayed over here and uh, these are all the data from our blogger website. So if you go over here to entry in that we have all the posts. So here we can see we have the published date, we have the category and we have the title and the content. So everything is uh, fest over here with this url right here and uh, i'm seeing this in this organized fashion that's because i'm using a plugin so here i'm using a plugin called json formatter so you can just install that in google chrome and you'll find the data in a formatted way right now if you take a look at this entry array if i just fold this here we can see there are nine items so if you go back to our blogger dashboard here it says we have nine posts. Now what we need to do is we need to get the posts from a specific label. So I'll just choose a label from here. I'll just choose the label tips. So we have one, two and three posts with the label tips. So for that let's go back to this uh, URL and here we need to change this to display the posts of a specific label. So for that you have to type forward slash hyphen forward slash 
and here you need to add the label so I'll just tap tips and let's press enter and now if you scroll down and uh, if I just fold this entry array now we can see it says we have four items let's go back to our posts and uh, we indeed have four posts we didn't count this earlier so we have one two three and four now let's go ahead and test with another label so if I just select this label VR we have just one post with the label VR so let's go back over here and instead of tips I'll just tap VR and let's press enter now if you scroll down and if you take a look at the entry now we can see we have just one item so this URL is working all right now here we can also limit the number of results that we get so I just choose this label for now technology because we have many posts in that so I just change this to technology and uh, if you go to entry here we can see we have five items but if I just add one more attribute over here here you can just type max results and we can set it to a number so I'll just tap 3 now here since we have another parameter we also have to add an ampersand and now if you press enter now if you scroll down and if we take a look at the entry now we can see we have just three items right now we need to use this URL in our script so here I'll just tap src equals and I'll just close the script over here and let's go back to our website and we need to copy from this forward slash till the end and uh, let's copy and paste it over here inside the source and here we need to make some changes the first thing is that we need to change alt equals json to alt equals json in script so just change this to json in script and now we need to add a callback function so let's tap ampersand callback and we need to add the name of a function over here so we'll create a function called display label posts right now let's create a script tag over here for the javascript and here let's create a function called display label posts so I'll just tap const display label posts now when we use this url and we use json in script then we also get some data in the callback function so I'll just call it posts over here and here I'll just console.log the data so I'll just tap posts and let's save it and let's see whether we have any errors and here we can see we have this error that's because we are using ampersand now since this is XML we have to type ampersand amp semicolon we have to do the same for all the ampersands so here also we need to type ampersand amp semicolon and let's save it right now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and let's open the console and here we have this object let's open it and here we have feed let's open the feed and in that we have the entry and in the entry we have three items so the data is being fetched correctly now let's go ahead and create some code to display it on the screen so here we can see we have the data inside feed and in that we have the entry and in that we have all these posts so let's go back to our code and uh, here I'll just call a function and let's create the function over here I just create a function called populate label posts and we'll get the data over here I'll just call it data and here let's call the function so I'll just type populate label posts and let's pass posts which we get from here dot feed dot entry right now here in this data we get all the entry so what we're going to do is we're going to create a new s3 and in that we're going to add the title of the post so first of all let me just reference this division with the class of label post container so let's tap const label posts container equals document dot query selector label posts container and here first of all we need to create an s3 so let's tap const s3 equals document dot create element and let's tap s3 over here 
Now in the S3, we need to add the title. So let's type S3 dot inner HTML equals. Now let's go back to the JSON data and uh, let's see how the title is displayed. So here we have the entry and in the entry we have all these uh, objects and in that we have the title and the title we have a value called dollar symbol T. So let's go back and here we need to loop through all this data. So let's create a for each loop for that. So let's tap data dot for each and for each of the data I'll just call post. You can name this anything you want. Let's create an arrow function over here and uh, we need to add these two lines of code inside this for each. So I'll just paste it over here. Now we need to set this to post which we get from here dot title and that we had dollar symbol t. Now we need to add this s3 to this label post container. So let's type label posts container dot append child and let's tap s3 and let's save this now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page and now here we can see we have these three posts with the label that we had in the url so we had the posts from this label technology so if you go to posts here we can see that the first post is best image generation tools and here we can see this is the first title then we have how search engine works. So this is the post. And then the next one is VR, things to look out for. So this is the post. I'll just change this title. So here I just type posts related to technology. And let's save it. Now let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And now we can see it says posts related to technology and we have these posts over here. Let's go ahead and change the label. So I'll just change the label to AI. So let's go back to the code and here I'll just change this to AI. And here in this URL, we need to change technology to AI and let's save it. Now here for the post, we can see the first title should be how to make your life easy with chat GPT. The second one should be the best image generation tools. And the third one should be this one right here, AI things you should learn. So let's go back to our website and let's refresh this page. And here we can see we have the correct post displayed over here. So that's basically how you can display the post from a specific label in your blogger homepage. Now in the next video, we will add some design and make it look better. All right, so that's basically it for this video. If you have any doubts, you can ask in the comments below. And if you like this video, please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates. Thanks a lot for watching. Have a nice day. Thank <laughs> you.